Hi friends this is third part of Code Igniter Login Register System, in previous part we have seen how to process form data, and store password in hash format using Code Igniter and Crypt Library. Now we have proceed for send verification email, so here we have write dollar subject variable is equal to please verify email for login, here we have make subject for email. After this we want to make dynamic message, so here we have write dollar message variable is equal to high string with dollar this with input object with post method, and under this we have write user name, it will make dynamic string. Now we have want to make dynamic verification link here, so here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to base URL function, slash register controller slash, verify email method slash, dollar verification key variable, this will make email verification link. Now we have write dollar config variable is equal to array with first key protocol value set to SMTP. This is mail sending protocol. In second SMTP host key and in value we have defined this SMTP server address. In third key we have write SMTP port and in value we have write 80, here we have define SMTP port. In fourth key we have write SMTP user key and in value we can define SMTP user name, here you have to define your SMTP user name. In fifth key we have write SMTP password and in value we have to define password of SMTP, here also you have to define your SMTP password. In sixth key we have write mail type and in value we have write HTML, this is email type and here we have define HTML email type. This way we have define email configuration in dollar config variable in array format. Now we have write dollar this with load library method with two argument like email and dollar config variable. It will load email library under this function with configuration which we have define under this dollar config variable. Below this we have write dollar this with email library with from method, and under this we have write email address like info at the rate webs lesson dot info. After this we have write dollar this with email library with to method, and under this we have write dollar with input object with post method with user email text box name. So here we have email will be sent to email address which has been right under this user email text box. Below this we have write dollar this with email library with subject method, and under this we have write dollar subject variable, here we have define email subject. Now we have write dollar this with email library with message method, and under this we have write dollar message variable, here we have define email message body. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with email library with send method, if email successfully send then it will execute if block of code. After successfully email send, now we have want to display success message, 
So here we have write dollar this with session library with set flash data method with two argument. In first argument we have write variable name message, and in second argument we have write message content, this method will display this message on next page redirect, and message content has been fetched by using this message variable. Lastly we want to redirect page to register form, so here we have write redirect method, and under this we have write register controller name, it will redirect page to register form. Now we want to display success message on register form, so we have go to register.php view file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar this with session object with flash data method and under this we have write message variable if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write echo statement with dollar with session object with flash data method and under this we have write message it will display success message on web page. Now friends we have check output, so here we have write base URL slash register controller name in browser, then it has load register form on web page. First we have check validation working or not, so here we have directly click on register button, after click on button, we can see validation error on web page. So here our required field validation has been working, now in name field we have enter John Smith, and in email field we have enter some invalid email, and click on register button. After click on register button, we can see validation error like invalid email address on web page, so here our valid email address validation has been working. After submitting form data, here we can see form data has been filled in particular field, this is because we have used set value method of code igniter helper, by using that method it has remember form data, and display data on validation after form submission. So here now we have enter proper email address, and in password field we have enter password, and click on register button, after click on register button, form data has been processed for sending email. After successfully sending of email page has been redirect to register form with success message like check in your email for email verification mail. So here email verification link has been sent to respective email address. Now we have check email has been received or not. So here we can see email has been received and here we can see email verification link also. So we have click on link, then page has been redirect to verify email method of register controller, but here we can see page not found error, because we have not make this method. After we have go to MySQL database code igniter register table, so here we can see data has been inserted, and password has been stored in hash format, now we have proceed for email verification code. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video.
Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.